So playing club baseball often goes overlooked in college. Um, and it takes a backseat at times to the, the main team, like you mentioned, the Division One team. Uh, so how fun was it? Uh, was that opportunity to playing in that atmosphere? Uh, it's not a lot of pressure on you, kind of like how maybe the D1 team would. Uh, so what was that like playing in that atmosphere? Uh, honestly, I loved it. It was, uh, you know, it was kind of hands off. You know, you got to do, you know, your regular college stuff, do go hang out with your friends on the weekends and stuff. Um, so as the structure was, we had one or two practices a week in the fall and then in the spring we we'd play our game so we'd have five teams in our division and we play a three game series every single weekend against one of the five teams and essentially one of the the, the team in first place would make it to the playoffs in Los Angeles I think and we finished in second in my sophomore junior year we missed it by one game to Stanford both times which is unfortunate but Stanford was loaded um yeah, I thought it was a lot of fun. We got to travel to different places. And, you know, we went to Humboldt, you know, like a six-hour drive from here. We got to experience a different culture up there. Um, Stanford, St. Mary's, both local teams. We got to compete. And, you know, we had a great group of guys, and we had a bunch of fun, I'd say. So were you the player manager of the – because I know you're a club president, <laughs> but were you the player manager of, of USF? Yeah, I like to consider myself the Pete Rose player <laughs> manager, but uh, we had we had a coach, but I was doing most of the most of the stuff behind the scenes, you know, like money and stuff and setting lineups and whatnot. But yeah, it was it was pretty fun to have that experience. I'd say it's something you don't really get to have. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome. Um, so I also did some research on you, and I found that you worked with the Junior Dons as a coach. So can you describe what you did there and what was that experience like? Um, so I had a, another former Reardon baseball player, Jeff D'Alba. Um, he started out working with them as a coach with the Junior Dons 8U team, I think. And, uh, you know, I got in contact with him because he was doing it. And, you know, he hooked me up. Um, we both started coaching the 8U team. He was coaching the gold team. I was coaching the black team. And uh, we worked that. It was, uh, you know, tournaments and whatnot, you know, how Little League baseball works out. We were going to, you know, Manteca and uh, I forget the facilities now, but we went all over the place playing different tournaments. Um, yeah, we got hooked up in that. And uh, we did also summer camp. Summer camps were, you know, 100 kids coming out to play on the USF baseball field, which is – you know, newly renovated. I, I'm sure you guys got to play there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a nice facility. You know, we got to hold different camps, play scrimmages with 11-year-olds, which is a lot of fun, you know, getting getting to strike people out and stuff. But, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We just uh, – we finished our last tournament. We came out as champions in November. So, that was – you know, that was our, our last tournament together. So, it was a lot of fun. So, I've come – around coaching young kids before too and I found that it's kind of difficult to teach them uh stuff young yep. because there's so much more advanced stuff that like I I personally found myself wanting to teach them like like um oh here's how to do a balk move but then you realize that they're they're like 10 and 8 so how have you run into that problem where you want to teach them more but you can't and how much does patience play a part in coaching baseball it's yeah like you mentioned it's pretty difficult you know, trying to teach them stuff that Ramsey taught us at Reardon, it's uh, it's kind of hard. <laughs> They're trying to understand the basics and get the ropes down. But then again, you want to, you know, see them get better. Um, it it, it kind of feels like you're doing the same thing over and over again, but they're just not getting it because, you know, how little kids are. You know, it's like in, in one year through, out through the other. But uh, it's it's just re reinforcing the same stuff when you're coaching them. So getting, uh, getting the basics down is what you need to focus on. 